Have you ever wondered how AI agents are transforming our world and thought how can I be a part of this revolution? Well, what if I told you that you could create your own AI agent today without writing a single line of code? In this first episode, we are going to make AI agents crystal clear. But here's the exciting part. This is just the beginning. In the upcoming videos in this series, we will dive deeper into advanced platforms like Relevance AI, Google Vertex, VoiceFlow and many more. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All right, let's dive in. So let's start with the basics. What exactly are AI agents? In simple terms, an AI agent is a software program that can perceive its environment, make decisions and perform actions to achieve specific goals all autonomously. Think of them as digital assistants that can learn, adapt and execute tasks on your behalf. But what can they be used for? They can be used for automating customer support with chatbots that handle inquiries 24-7, managing your schedule by setting up meetings and reminders, personalizing shopping experiences by recommending products you'll love, even controlling smart home devices to adjust lighting, temperature and security. The possibilities are virtually endless. Now, how do these AI agents actually work? First, the AI agent receives a specific goal or instruction from the user, that's you. It then plans tasks to achieve this goal, breaking it down into manageable actions. Next, it gathers the necessary information. This could be anything from fetching data from the internet or from your database to accessing your calendar or even interacting with other AI models. And finally, the agent executes these tasks. It checks off completed tasks, evaluates its progress, and may even adjust its plan based on new information or feedback. All of this happens behind the scenes, making your life easier while you focus on what truly matters. Now let's dive into different types of AI agents. Understanding these types will help you choose the right agent for your needs. First up, we have simple reflex agents. Simple reflex agents operate based on predefined rules and their immediate data. Think of them as the if this then that type of agents. They make decisions solely on current situation without considering the past or the future. If a specific condition is met, they perform a corresponding action. For example, imagine an email autoresponder that sends out a predefined message whenever it receives an email with the subject line password reset. It doesn't analyze who sent the email or any previous interactions. It just responds based on that specific keyword. These agents are perfect for straightforward tasks that don't require complex decision making or learning from past experiences. Next, we have model-based reflex agents. Model-based agents are a step up from simple reflex agents. They don't just react, they think a little more before acting. These agents build an internal model of the world based on the data they perceive. This model helps them evaluate possible outcomes and consequences before making a decision. Consider a smart thermostat that not only adjusts the temperature based on the current room temperature, but also considers the time of the day and whether you are usually home at that time. Some of the use cases includes smart home security systems that differentiate between regular household activity and potential security threats. Moving on to the goal-based agents. Goal-based agents have a specific objective in mind. They don't just act, they plan. These agents evaluate different approaches to achieve their desired outcome and choose the most efficient path. They consider both current data and future possibilities to make decisions. As an example, think of a navigation app that plans the best route to your destination. It considers traffic conditions, distance and your preferences to guide you efficiently. Next up are utility-based agents. Utility-based agents aim to maximize a specific utility or value. They use complex reasoning to evaluate different scenarios and decide which one offers the most benefits. Some of the other use cases include resource management systems that allocate resources where they add most value, financial investment algorithms that balance risk and return to maximize profit. Utility-based agents are great when you need to make decisions that involve complex trade-offs and want to maximize a particular outcome. Now let's explore learning agents. Learning agents are like students of the AI world. They continuously learn from their experiences to improve their performance. They use feedback mechanisms to adapt and refine their behavior over time. 
As an example, you can think of a customer service chatbot that becomes better at answering questions the more it interacts with the customers, learning from each conversation to provide more accurate responses. Learning agents are perfect for environments where conditions change over time, and agent needs to adapt to perform effectively. Other use cases include personalized recommendation systems that suggest products or content based on user behavior. Finally, we have hierarchical agents. Hierarchical agents are organized in tiers like a management structure. Higher level agents break down complex tasks into smaller subtasks and assign them to lower level agents. Each agent operates independently but reports back to its supervising agent. Consider a manufacturing plant where a central system oversees various robots on assembly line. Each robot handles a specific task and the central system ensures they all work together smoothly. So there you have it. AI agents are incredibly versatile and possibilities are endless. Now let's get our hands dirty. Time to build your very own AI agent without writing any code. Now the question is, how do you really use AI agents in the real world for your business or for your automations? There are a number of no-code AI platforms in the market, such as Relevance AI, Google Vertex AI, LLM Stack, N810, VoiceFlow, Vectorshift, Defy, and so on. All of these platforms offers you a drag and drop interface where you can build your workflows and you can create and integrate AI nodes. You can trigger that workflow from outside from your existing workflows or using APIs, webhooks, or using a chat window. Let's understand this entire thing by building a very simple workflow in Anyton. If you don't know, Anyton is an open source workflow automation tool that integrates beautifully with AI functionalities. Now let's say you provide marketing services to your clients and you have a detailed form on your website that clients can fill in to get started. And as soon as they fill that form and submit it, you want to perform a couple of operations. First, Let's say you want to perform a detailed research on their business and their competitors and generate a detailed report on that. Next, you want to send a personalized welcome email along with this report to the client. Third, you want to share this report to one of your employee via Slack so that they can get started and start following up with the client. Next, you want to update the client's details, their start date, their plan or services they're opting for in a Google Sheet. Now this is a real world use case scenario. Let's see how we can build this workflow in Anyton and use AI agents to all of this stuff. So first we can add a trigger to this workflow. I'll use the trigger as a webhook and the method will be the post. So whenever a form is submitted, a post call will be made to this webhook URL and will receive all the fields of the form in this request. Next we can add an AI agent. We can use plan and execute agent for this. Use OpenAI chat model as the LLM and add a couple of tools to this agent, such as HTTP request tool. Here we can make get calls to the tools like SERP API and this will enable agent to search the internet. We can define a prompt for this AI agent and we can give it the detailed steps to do the business research and its competitors research. We can even define specific output format to make sure this agent gives out the response in a particular format that we can use in the next set of nodes. We can connect the output parser as let's say structured output parser. And here we can define the JSON. Now AI agent will output the response that matches with this JSON object. So we will receive the research about the given business and the list of competitors as an output of this AI agent. Now, if we want, we can iterate over all the competitors identified over here and do in-depth research on those as well using the AI agent. In the next step, we want to send a personalized welcome email along with this research data to the client. For that, we can simply use OpenAI node and message a model as the text action. Now in this node, we can pass the business information and the list of competitors identified in the previous step along with all the form data that we received initially and ask LLM in the prompt here to give a personalized email along with all the given information about the business and competitors to be sent directly to the client. Now, once we have the personalized email content, 
we can send the email using one of the email nodes over here. For now, I'll use Gmail. And the action will be of type send. And in the to field, we can pull out the value from the form submitted by the client and set the subject to welcome email. And message will come from the output of the previous node. Now, we also want to send a Slack message to one of the team member. So I'll select Slack as the node and send a message as the action. And here the resource will be message and operation will be send. We can select whom to send the message and the message text. The message text will be all the values of the field that we received initially in the webhook plus all the research data. And finally, we want to store this client's data in a Google sheet. So we can add one more node over here and append a row in a given sheet. And this will add all the details of the client to that sheet. Now, whenever a client submits the form on your website, this workflow will get triggered using this webhook. And then this AI agent will do all the research about the given business and will find out its competitors. Then this OpenAI node will craft a personalized email that contains details about the competitor research and a welcome message. And then that email will be sent to the client via Gmail. Now this should give you a pretty good idea about how to integrate AI agents, how to use them in the real world workflows and how easy it is to get started. In our upcoming videos, we'll explore each AI platform in depth, compare them with each other, build real world workflows and many more. So if you found value in this video, and I hope you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of AI agents are you excited to build or if you want me to cover any specific platform. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of our AI agent series.